should you sell your condo and rent because you think the market is going down? Not a great idea. Let's unpack that in this video. So my good friend Jonathan called me the other day and said, hey, can you help me find a rental place? I said, for who? He said, for me, I want to sell my condo and buy a place. I was like, what? <laughs> so let, let me walk you through that conversation. So my first question was, why do you, why do you want to sell? What, like, what are you thinking? And you know, he said, well, listen, I read the Oxford report. It said, you know, house prices in Canada were going to go down 24%. By 2024 he's like hey maybe I'll just cash out of the market and rent for now right seems like a good idea <laughs> it's not a good idea and it could go completely wrong and let me tell you why so the first thing is when you read those reports be careful because they don't say the GTA is gonna go down they say Canada is gonna go down and the Canadian housing prices might go down but they're not gonna go down in the GTA not in any specific way or any specific amount and you could totally get it wrong <laughs> then that would be very very expensive and really do you want to blow up your life to try and speculate on real estate probably not and when we unpacked it a little bit further i said jonathan so you want to sell rent and then buy back into the toronto market he said no actually i want to sell rent maybe and then buy back into niagara a different part i was like oh okay that's that's kind of interesting because really to try and blow your life to time the market in the same area doesn't really make sense but if you want to sell maybe to go to another area that's kind of interesting so you know my first feedback was okay well the prices in Niagara Niagara is actually one of the most overvalued places in Canada right now so you know I certainly expect those prices to come down my feedback was listen watch that market and if you can you know because I certainly think it could come down if you can keep your condo here and buy a place there and rent it until you're ready to move you know to which he replied well you know we actually don't have the cash to be able to do that and i was like okay great so what i would do you know my advice was listen jonathan keep an eye on both markets right like toronto is starting to soften a little bit that market will soften more if the timing is ever right to do that maybe then sell here buy there keep renting here and rent out that property you know if that's available to you uh you know but otherwise just keep your condo stay in the real estate market because listen the gta is going to be strong we are short supply and the market is going to stay fairly stable over the next medium to long term so listen you know <laughs> i've been reading the news and for the last 20 years people have been saying the Toronto real estate market has been going to crash, okay? For 20 years in a market that's grown well over 10% in that same time period. And that's actually tripled in value in the last 12 years. So be careful what you read. Jonathan said, thank you very much, you know, because he said, it's, it was a funny quote. He said, you know, you can talk to yourself uh, in the shower and feel like you're a genius, but you know what? Just go out there and get another opinion because you may not be a genius. You know, in this case, if you're talking about real estate, talk to investors, someone who knows, you know, real estate, he knows different markets, and talk to someone that understands real estate, right? A realtor like me or someone you trust where you can go out there and ask these questions just to get a sounding board. So I hope you found that hugely helpful. If you have any questions, if you're thinking of selling and buying even in different markets, shoot us an email, info at thinkto.ca. Please like this video and smash that subscribe button so you get updated when we post new content each and every week. Talk soon.